Okay, hello everyone, welcome back, Mark Surgeon again, and uh, now we will jump into the skinning process. So first of all, we have the complete rig. Um, not absolutely complete, complete but uh, at least uh, the base parts. Um, let me turn off Shift G, and we turn off the geometry. So this is the rig, this is uh, all the shapes are uh, custom meshes and uh, we have the bone um, for the gem and uh, yes uh, we also have this uh, mesh part that will help uh, our workflow uh, during the animation so first of all we have the figure and um, we need to apply a skin modifier so skin where we are skin 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 uh, but by default, it will not recognize what bones we want to add, so we have to manually pick the bones. Uh, and the best idea is if you try to keep it as prompt and as straightforward as possible. Okay, so uh, pay attention to this. Uh, Here is this area. It's called bones, and we have add. Now, oh, many, many things could be included, so let me fit this window into our screen. Sometimes you have this sort by hierarchy option. Uh, please choose sort by layer. And right now everything is on the default layer. So let me open this up. And uh, practically we will have to choose almost everything. Alright, and uh, once everything is selected, so let me press Ctrl A. Once everything is selected, let me exclude a few things. Uh, just a base tip so when you see these icons these icons these are indicating that we have bones selected usually these bones are necessary so what we do need we do not re need the fret rig because that is the triangle control uh, we do not need the retable helper because that is a simple point as a reference point uh, that was created we don't need the jaw mesh because it's not it's a controlling object it's not really a bone uh, as it's indicated here, it is geometry. Uh, we don't want to include the Joe tip because that tiny thing is outside of our mesh. We we are not interested. We are we want to use the Joe as the main bone, but we don't want to use the Joe tip. Okay, uh, we are not interested to use the color bone seal for for skinning. We are using it for moving, but we are not using it for skinning. Uh, also, we have a platform. L platform is uh, the rectangle right below the uh, left foot. So let me turn this off. We don't need that. Uh, we definitely need no color bone. This is the right side of the color bone. And uh, pelvis, yeah, we need those. Uh, we don't need the platform of the right foot. And we don't need spine 2. Okay, why we don't need spine 2? Because we have spine 1 here. And right above, you have spine 2 and the rib cage. But in this case, we want to use the rib cage, alright? So less bones means easier skinning. The more bones you have, the more delicate details uh, you will receive. So it's, it means more work. Alright, so all the digits are there. Uh, forearm, rib cage, palm, everything. So helper and, and a couple of things are not included. Now I'm hitting on select. Uh, it might take some time to load, but here we go. This is it. Now before you are, you, before you are going crazy and start moving things around, please uh, hold your breath. It's time. If you want, you can save it uh, on a different name uh, as a moment. So now you have uh, uh, all the bones. If you have a trouble or you accidentally added something that you don't want, uh, you can still browse here through and you can click on remove. Alright, so select something, you can click on remove. That's it. Now, uh, about testing the animation. So, the first and easiest way to test the animation is go to the motion panel and have selected something that is. A part of the, your cat trick so it could be anything right now it is this animation layer let me delete this quickly um, 
so we have uh, the setup animation mode toggle and right now we have no layer uh, so absolute layer holding scroll uh, left mouse button down adding a cat motion layer start the animation and actually playing the animation uh, we will recognize a few things okay so I have something a movement here with the bone so uh, I was testing it uh, I need to remove the animation in your file I will just uh, remove that but as you see even if it's a simple uh, skin it's quite good maybe the arms are a little bit floppy here and there shoulders are not accurate to it's not it's, the whole thing is not that accurate but at least we have no flyers we have no vertices uh, with uh, some kind of crazy behavior okay let me stop the animation uh, switch it back uh, let me uh, turn off this layer actually let me delete this layer because uh, um, we've seen what it's uh, capable of it's great but we have to go back now here's the uh, the chin and the chin has some animation so let me delete those animations in the timeline okay I will explain more things on the go but let me see now what we have so we want to create some testing for ourselves now before we do that testing here is this Joe and what we do need is we need to make it ready to be reverted so we need to define a zero position so before we start moving this around start automating the Joe uh, we have to have that zero position now for that create it and because it's everything is linked already it's a good state uh, if uh, and we have no animation so what we can do we can choose a uh, uh, we can go with a, an alt right click and uh, here's the, this is what I was looking for so alt right click will, will bring you up this dialogue in uh, the quad menu and what we do need is called freeze transform and it will ask do you want to use freeze transform uh, now yes we we want uh, but this this uh, dialogue is practically asking uh, are you sure you have your links you have uh, you have no animation uh, uh, are you are you in a rigging mode or a simple state uh, as before any action is done so this is what we're looking for yes we we have a uh, new animation here so I'm pressing OK and uh, now the benefit of this is the following so I have no animation I'm just uh, testing the movements so simply rotating open up the Joe it's it's acting weird because it has no skin the skinning is not perfect yet it's far from perfect but the benefit of using this I've just changed uh, the angle of the Joe so now the mouth is open if I want to go back uh, it's pretty hard to manually do it all the time but you can always alt right click and choose transform to zero now you may need to update the viewport so slight move uh, might be beneficial to do and once you have the slide move it will snap back to the original position that's that's the transformation to zero is all about okay now um, some basic movements so for the skinning part um, actually what we do need is um, even before we're setting up the animation we can go to the uh, modify panel select the figure and check what we actually have at this stage so before we are going crazy uh, it's time to organize a few things here and there so go to the skin and under the skin we have a single uh, envelope and when you click on this envelope let me press F4 to visualize things a little bit more um, you will see this kind of a thermo thermic image and it shows the influence of the bones now the envelope uh, mode is selected and the base is the head so every bone has a handle so these gray things with the dots at the ends these are representing the handles of the bones all right you can change the orientation of the handle 
Uh, you can change many things. You can change the influence. You can change the fall off. For example, uh, if it's too big, you can reduce it. Uh, but be careful because the uh, when you are acting and when you are creating these, these should overlap a little bit. Okay, so not much, but some areas will belong. Some vertices will belong to one part and another as well. So, for example. A vertex here will be influenced by the upper arm and also will be influenced by the uh, rib cage, and there is a chance it will be influenced slightly by uh, the neck. Okay, so he, for example, here is this is uh, the neck area. Um, and uh, as you see, we had the floppiness here. And that's caused by the strong influence of this, the palm, for example. As you see, the radiation, the strength of the palm is way too much. So this is why when you start rotating the wrist, it will alter uh, the mesh around the forearm. Okay, now it's time to clean up a few things. So first of all, because we have a gel, let me go to the left view. And uh, let me just reduce the fall off of this one. So the fall off curve is actually the outer curve of this capsule form. So you can drag these, select it, and with the normal move tool you can reduce the influence. All right. So I will do the same thing here. I will reduce it slightly. Now same thing at the back. Okay, a slight reduction of it. And uh, also the center part. Now, it may be a little bit tricky, so let me go back to perspective and uh, let me handle this situation. So my problem is that the front area is looking good, top of the head is looking good, it's quite red, so of course it's influenced by the head bone. But the problem is these eardrums here, and these are not influenced by the head. So when I start rotating the head, uh, theoretically, these will remain in place, okay? So these are not deforming with the head. So what I should do is um, I can change, for example, the length of this handle, the length of the envelope. Um, if you remember, we have these um, handles, and when a handle is selected, it becomes yellow. Uh, if you zoom in closer, you still have the gray, uh, grayish dot at the end of the handle, and if you select it, it will become purple. Now, once you have that, you can go select it and you can actually change the overall length of this. Okay, so this way you can just regulate a few things if you wish, uh, and uh, it's quite nice, but it made no change. So, what I need to actually do is to create another cross section. By default, we have two cross sections one at the front, one at the back. So, these are coming with the package. If you want to add more cross sections, uh, you have to go down and look for the cross sections selection area under the bone selector. Click on add, and go in, and somewhere uh, in the middle of this uh, handle, click there, and it will place a new cross section for you. Now, from now on, if you rotate it, you can recognize, okay, we have the start, uh, the last one, and now we have an in-between cross-section. I can select the fall off the outer area, an outer point, and a change, and uh, stretch out the reach of our envelope. And also, here's the hotspot, and the hotspot is also stretched out, okay? Uh, so it will give you it's not a perfect solution let me explain this when we are skinning we are starting from a base and we try to make it step by step instead of just uh, jumping in and try to make it perfect everything from the get-go okay so this is for the head now the head is pretty fine we can move forward and add and look for the gel here's the gel the gel is selected okay what's the problem with the gel the influence the um, the fall off is way too big we definitely don't need that much so I will drag this out I will dial this down same thing on the other side 
Uh, we don't have to make it perfectly symmetrical because we can mirror at the end. So we can mirror these at the end. Um, we can also rotate. So if we wish, we can select and rotate these. Okay, so let me zero this out. Let me select the other handle, move it in, and zero this out. And uh, this might help me with to find a better alignment. Okay, so hotspot selected, fall off selected, extending, okay, shrink down here, the top part. Okay, okay, not bad. Yeah, so not bad. Here we go, we have the head, it's full red here. We have the the gel. It's not that red. Now, why could this happen? So when you see a reddish area, that means those vertices are hundred percent belonging to that bone. But here we have an area that's um, kind of influenced with by many many bones. So there's a chest. We have the chest. And as you see, the fall off of the chest is also includes these points. So we should reduce the influence of the chest as well. Be careful. Uh, try to maintain symmetry. So as you see, I'm dragging specific axes, uh, not not uh, just by random. So I try to move up and down, uh, left to right. So instead of uh, moving in a 3D space, I try to uh, watch for these moves and we still have another influencer another bone and that is the neck area so honestly I think uh, the neck is a little bit better if it's not horizontal so right now the envelope the default position of the envelope was horizontal for this one uh, maybe we should uh, change it to vertical so now I'm dragging here and uh, I, I've just eyeballed, so it's not that center. I have to walk down and look for the X value, right click to reset it to zero. Where's my other handle? Here is the other handle, so I have to select that as well. Just by eyeballing, drag it to the center and right click to make it sure that it is in the center. And go to the left view and uh, move it up. And also, I have to select the other handle. And move that down and dial down these guys so dial them down probably the hotspot is just uh, too small so maybe I can increase the amount so that's it that's it practically probably closer to the center can help so mm hmm something like this Okay, go back to perspective. Oh, it's not bad. So, um, maybe, 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 maybe the bottom should be even smaller. Okay, that's good. Now, going to the chest. The chest area definitely need more influence. So, just it was just too much. And now, if I'm selecting this, uh, I can check what's going on. So, arms will be fine this one will be fine except the uh, amount of the influence of the uh, palm probably yeah it's much better it's much more red here and there this guy we should keep it horizontal so move it Thighs, okay. Oh, it's way too much up here. It's way too much. We need no influence like that. It's too. The transition is too, too much. So we need to reduce the effect or the intensity. Let me move it back. Oh, we need another cross section because of this area. So add a cross section here and now increase it. All right, of course, we don't want to include fingers or anything like that because that will result in a 
kind of an unwanted movement. Yes, here's the cough. Cough part is selected, reduce, and move it to the center. Top part is there. Probably we need a less big hotspot. Okay, 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 right. So here we go. Uh, this the influence, uh, the radiation of this bone is way too much, and also the end is located a little bit off. So let me bring it back closer to the ankle. Probably now we can add more. We want to see some yellow here. Also, here's the, our other bone. It's also a little bit too much, so let me pull this back. Okay. As you see, here's a nice transition at this area, so a blue are not in fact, uh, influenced, but uh, the red parts are just there. Maybe it's too much here, it's because we have plenty of bones, these tiny bones that can help me in the movement. So, so let me select this. That's great, and uh, these bones should be a little bit more a little bit more, 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 more. Okay. Bigger uh, effect. All right. Now, uh, it's not perfect. It's not complete yet, but it's time to check some movements. Now, the way to check some movements um, is to set up some animation. But before we are setting up the animation, it's time to uh, mirror what we have at this stage okay again it's far from uh, far from the good but we can select and mirror all the things just walk down go to mirror mode and we have an option called pass green to boom bo blue bones now green is the right side if you are working on the right side you will use this feature so last green to blue bones and um, now it's updated I can press the right click and uh, turn off mirror mode okay f3 and leave skin and here we go so here's our figure and uh, it's time to check some movements now to check those go to the modify panel uh, i'm sorry the motion panel and we need to set up a, a layer but it won't be a motion layer, it will be a standard absolute animation layer. So I'm holding down left mouse button and just uh, clicking on ABS, or actually just clicking on the ABS will uh, give me the uh, new layer or scroll down. Sorry, scroll down. Uh, we don't need two, definitely. We need only one. Uh, enable animation mode. And now drag the time slider to about. 20 or 10 10 is enough turn on n n is the auto key so if you press n uh, it will turn on the animation mode auto key animation mode and we can switch to rotation and don't forget we are in animation so usually there's a chance we are we are using local mode okay so if you haven't switched it already choose local mode and let me lift up the head and see what's going on so the head has some influence around the neck area that would be nice i'm also looking for opening up the mouth so the mouth should be selected open it up uh, no problem there's no surprise that we have a problem here we will solve that problem and uh, also uh, let me check and shift G to hide the geometry temporarily shift G to back again it's not animating it's just showing hiding geometry so let me lift up the hand uh, actually the palm is acting like a, um, a target so I can select the upper arm and choose FK now that's that's a big benefit of using uh, um, the cat rig. So uh, when I'm moving the palm, it will just automatically uh, move things around. Okay, we have some weird action here with the with the, the 
movements of the arms. So that's a little bit odd. And what we also do need is we might want to animate the platform. So here it is. This is rig right platform. And let me lift this up because I'm very curious about. Hey, it's not that bad for first. Okay, I think it's uh, the collision here is quite looking good. Okay, so it's, it's really not that bad. Probably if we want to add more stress to this, probably we should select the ankle bone and change the angle and that can also increase uh, the stress on the mesh. Okay, so now it's it's quite a lot. Can you see here we have some collapsing areas and uh, maybe we can rotate the arm a bit. Okay, because that will also generate some issues. All right. Okay, so uh, this is the moment where we can turn off auto key and and if we are moving back and forth, we have this uh, uh, chance to test out some of the movements. So we will use this for testing. But because it's just only 10 frames, uh, we definitely do not need uh, that many keyframes to be used. Now, to reduce the length of the overall length of the timeline, uh, my suggestion is to choose and use Control Alt and keep your cursor in the timeline and press right click and hold it down and move the mouse so this way I will rescale not rescaling I will just uh, crop the timeline so the visibility of the timeline is just changed the display length of the timeline is changed so now we can easily just uh, select it, uh, the slider and move uh, and look around okay here we go now so imagine that all of the envelopes are edited and uh, that takes some time okay so that is just quite a lot of time uh, we also have and also can adjust uh, the arms and fingers sorry legs and fingers and toes uh, so before we are making it testing and, um, and the painting of uh, the skin uh, we will do that and that will be for uh, this particular class okay so just let me uh, make those movements so select back again a uh, part of the figure actually select the palm and uh, turn on animation so auto key is on uh, move it to move it to 20 and uh, and what we can do turn off shift G is animation mode is on so we can go in here uh, and look for and look for the uh, motion panel palm is selected animation is running we have a, uh, a keyframe set to 20, so it will create a keyframe here. And there is a fist option. So from the digit manager, from the motion panel, it's quite at the bottom of this uh, sidebar. We have to choose the fist and change the weight to 100. Okay, so it will, it will create a fist of this guy of the hand so you can select the, the root bone of the thumb and just rotate it okay because the uh, this is this is much more like a human fist so what we need to do is just to make slight adjustments to fit our own particular character so this is what I made and now it is just creating a fist from uh, because it's auto key it starts from the zero keyframe and uh, uh, just um, the duration is 20 frames. Uh, to make it a little bit more specific move, uh, to create this uh, difference, uh, easier to recognize where we are, the best thing if you just uh, double click on the palm, it will select everything, and uh, just alt clicking 
on the palm because palm animation we don't want to include the palm animation so these are just the finger animations now everything that you see here you you see it as one keyframe but actually it's all of the keyframes for each of the digits so I can select this and drag it to keyframe 10 so what does it mean there is a movement of the palm of the arm from 0 to 10 and from 10 to 20 this thing is performed so the fist uh, is clenched okay the, the hand is clenched okay so that's it shift G to get back to geometry and now we can see some errors here and there so let me turn off animation N. and uh, it's not that bad it's not that bad the fingers are a little bit soft and a little bit bendy so we have to adjust those but this is because the overlap of the envelopes okay so we'll go there and uh, uh, once you have the basic envelopes that it is you can fix that with painting so still the envelope part go to the modify panel enable envelope now we have these special uh, positions and, and uh, angles uh, right now you don't you don't have to edit skinning in a static pose you can edit that in uh, movement so here we go where is this overlap issue so for example here I think it's too much so let me reduce this probably this palm has a too strong effect so I'm in the 3d space and I can adjust the influence of the palm bone in the 3D space. Okay, can you see how drastically? All right, it's hard. This is I like to rotate it a lot because it's hard to visualize what's going on if you don't rotate it enough. Now I can go back, select this guy, and uh, probably move the center. Okay, this one is there. Maybe the hotspot of this should be widened that looks better promising now the fall off of this particle finger so let me select it back again fall off is here fall off of this particle finger should be wider a little bit okay it's not bad here we go this is also working there okay we have a couple renitent points a couple rebels we have to fix them later on here that's too much it's too much here uh, and probably uh, even this, this tiny point has this tiny tip has a too big of an influence okay so this influence is altering the look of the finger here mm-hmm maybe it's too long okay so I want to reduce the effect also reduce the effect here right mm -hmm. change uh, what this is the direction okay so can you see now now the fingers are looking much more like real fingers so more segments there so what I did technically is just reducing the overall size as a necessity so select the handles I know it's quite hard to see those handles so those are fairly tiny you need to pick up some routine to handle that but uh, this is what we do and we can do it in 3d okay so uh, if you pay attention and do not move so widely and rotate it all the time you can do it in 3d okay now we can check back check how the movement is performed and uh, that's a good way to to see uh, to see the setup okay so that is the first uh, stage of editing the skinning it's practically you have a set of basic movements and uh, the goal here is to look or look at these envelopes and regulate them and, and try to fix them now once you have a one side you can use the mirror function and um, once you completed the envelope stage then the real troubleshooting will come and we can um, work on the mouth opening and we can work on uh, uh, the shoulders and for and for the to and for example the toes so you can try it please progress forward with these 
uh, explore the settings of the envelope. It takes some time to get used to this, uh, but it's uh, quite a fun. And now you can uh, set up your test animation. But don't forget, you are still in. Uh, uh, you you can't really change your rig at this point. Okay. Thank you very much, and see you next time.